Happy Nick here and I'm going to show you how to survive your first night in Minecraft. So what you want to do is uh, go to single player and then let me just delete that and create new world and then you can rename it so like first night and then game mode survival and then just leave all that to what it is. Click done and then create new world. So let's start creating a new world for us. And we've got this is a desert biome, so like different areas. It's called like a biome. So this is a desert biome and this is a plains biome. And we've got some cows, so um yeah, so uh you you hit things um by by just left clicking with your mouse button and you'll punch them and these are cows so so let's just kill this guy and we've got some raw beef and some leather so we can go ahead and kill all of these let me just speed this up for you Okay, so as you can see, we've got our health bar down on the bottom, and this is our hot bar, so it has all our different kind of uh, items in it. So, and you'll see at the top it has a white leather thing, white seeds on top of the hot bar, and um, you got on top of that you've got your XP bar, which is um, your levels basically and you get that from killing stuff so mine's a bit green already so I put that's because I've killed some cows and on top of that you got your hearts and your health uh, and your hunger sorry and the way you lose hunger is by sprinting and you sprint by double, double tapping uh, your W key and yeah so you want to eat some food because my hunger has already gone down by four. So you right click while holding your raw beef or whatever food you have. You get food by killing animals like chickens, pigs, um, and cows and stuff like that. And there are also sheep in the game but they drop wool. And I just ate all my beef. And that was raw beef so you can you can get um, cooked beef, but I'll show you that later on. So, what the first thing you basically want to do when you start off Minecraft is find a tree and punch it. Punch it by holding down left click, and you'll see kind of like a breaking effect on the uh, the trunk on the wood of this tree and. That means you're just breaking your wood. So, here, let me break this tree down. And this is leaves. These are the leaves. And if you break these, you can get apples from them. Uh, it's pretty rare for you to get apples, but oh, that, that's the sapling. Okay, so that wood fell down into my hot bar. And it looked my fist basically is now oak wood and here's some more cows so we can kill these and this is a chicken so you can get some chicken from this but we all know raw chicken isn't good to eat so um, if you had if you eat too much raw chicken you'll get poisoned and everything like that so now that we've got our wood and some food um, we can press E, it might be I for some of you guys, but it's E for me, and this brings up this big section, and uh, you can move stuff up here, out of your hotbar, and then you press 
be a gang to get out of that. Um, you can move it out of your hopper. So you can move all this. And now it's out of my hopper. Put it back down. It's in your hopper. If you right click, you can split a stack. Oh, so I've got four. Half of four is two. So I've got that. Split a stack of five. It just gives you like takes more out. And yeah, so this you'll see this crafting. So that's the sun, but by the way. So one when it comes nighttime, um, bad creatures will come out and try and kill you. Let me just yeah, not make sure your difficulty is on normal, not peaceful. Just make sure it's not on peaceful. <laughs> so press E again, and what you want to do is put your oak wood into the crafting and um, press hold down shift and click and that will take all the items all your um, oak wood planks out of uh, your crafting box <laughs> your output area um, now you can make so now you can craft things right so you want to make a crafting bench and you make that like for oak wood and then you'll get a crafting table. So what you want to do is place that down and then right click to open that and then you've got a bigger crafting. So it's basically this extended. So now you want to make some sticks. So they're basically like your handle bar or yeah handle for everything so make a couple of them and then we've got 12 sticks now we can place now we want to make a pickaxe and a pickaxe you see we can break anything we want except bedrock which is all the way down there and air <laughs> but um you can break anything you want when you see stone up there that's we we can't we can mine that with our fists, but um it, it just it doesn't give us the stone item and it takes quite a while to mine so if I just keep on breaking this it it won't um it it won't give me anything and but it'll be, it'll be broken but it won't give me anything. So let me just come back up. <coughs> yeah, you can place any of the blocks you collect to... Well, not any of them. You can place seeds, but... <coughs> let me just eat this. So if, if you're full, if you're full um, hunger, your hearts will start re-helping, <laughs> regenerating. <laughs> Really healthy, and you also get fall damage. So yeah, you can just get a drink of water. <coughs> so now <coughs> you can make a pickaxe, and you make that by making it look like the object. So you got your handlebar, and then you got the like top bit, which destroys it, and then you get your wooden pickaxe. Um, we can make a sword too, so you, you put down the handle and then to um, wood. But you don't have to make the side the side bits like that, which is good, so you don't have to use your sticks. Stick up, and then you got a sword. So now you can break your crafting bench and get that back. And now we can go and make us find ourselves some coal and coal usually appears on the sides of big mountains like that or underground so if you, when you go mine there's some coal so this is stone and now we can mine that quicker and we get a thing called cobblestone and that gives us so we just mined three cobblestone, and you see over there there are some, uh, some bad-looking 
skeletons, basically, holding a bow. One's looking at me, so. Um, yeah, so let's go and get this cow. So the, the coal, the coal, looks like that, and we can go, okay then, suicide cow. <laughs> anyway, um, we can go and get this coal. It, it basically looks like stone, but it's got dark bits in, in it, so we can mine our coal with our wooden pickaxe, and as you can see, the day is going down. So that there's our sun. You can hardly see it, but there's our sun. And we want to get some coal quickly before the monsters come out. Monsters do come out in day, but that's only if you're in a cave um, where it's dark or something. So let me just get all this. Okay, so we this will basically be our hidey hole. <laughs> And we want this to be a hidey hole because this is where we can keep safe and everything. So there are zombies, skeletons, and um, spiders. And yeah, so that's how you make uh, torches. You get some sticks and then place one down. Place one down, and you get four torches. Um, grab that, and then you got your four torches. You can stack items, so like, so if it's five like that, you can just bring it into the same item. And torches emit light, so it's all it's it's night time now. The moon, the moon is coming out. The moon, the cows are mooing. <laughs> And let me just build this back up. So you want a safe area, and this is safe because the mobs won't be able to um, hit you. You'll only be able to see their legs, and you can attack their legs um, like that. So that's pretty good. So you want to get some more coal if you found some more. all this away. Okay, so it's pretty much enough coal for now. Get this, okay. Okay, so you want to make an... The skeletons might be able to like shoot you. One might like fall onto there and then be able to shoot you. So you want to make like a, a... a wall kind of. So you've got your wall and get all this cobblestone. And you notice my whole hotbar is full, but all the items are going into here, which is good. Um, you can also scroll between items. Sorry, I didn't mention this earlier, but you can also, um, earlier, sorry. Um, you can also scroll between items by clicking your number pad or just scrolling with your mouse key. Uh, okay, so we've got some light, we can place down our crafting table, and now we've got 11, 11 cobblestone, and we can upgrade our pickaxe, because this is the durability. Um, we haven't used our wooden sword that much, but you can see it has a green bar, and it's um, being used a bit. Not all items have a durability, like only tools have durability or um, health, basically. So we want to upgrade our stone pickaxe, I mean our wooden pickaxe, because it's about to die. And when it dies, it just make a clicking noise and um, disappear. So. Um, if we make a stone pickaxe, it's the same basically, but replace the wood, uh, the oak planks. You might not have oak planks depending what um, tree you cut down. Uh, replacing your planks, wooden planks, um, with cobblestone. So you've got your cobblestone pick, and that doesn't wear out 
as fast and it digs much more faster. As you can see, that, and then there's, and then there's that. Yeah. So we've got some holes. Let me just mine this. Don't don't um, mine your your items that are mineable by hand, and you'll still get the item with like a tool. Except for wood, if you have a wooden if you have a wooden um, axe. So same recipe basically, uh, but this time it makes you a stone sword. And now we can make a furnace. So a furnace basically cooks our food. That's why everything, all the food I've collected says raw, raw beef, raw chicken. So now we can write on that. And, no, not that. Get our furnace, place that down. And this is like an oven stove kind of thing. And you need fuel. So you put your fuel into here, your cooking item, and then it'll make your cooked item, if that makes any sense. So you can put your coal, which is fuel. You can also use wooden planks, but that isn't that good for cooking. Um, so you can put your raw chicken into there, and you'll get a flame thing. So even though your coal is gone, um, you've got your flames and it'll make a loading effect, and then you've got your cooked chicken. Um, it's still got coal basically powering it, so you can put some more food into there and get that cooked. You can also leave your furnace, GUI. This, this is a GUI basically. You can also leave that, and it'll still be cooking your food, so leave that. And then you've got your food. Um, so cooked steak just gives you more, more um, health regeneration. Uh, as you can see, the you can't usually zoom in. Um, you can see a um, a zombie there. Let me just eat this. So basically, just set for the night. Um, hope this helped, guys. Um, when you wake up, you'll see different animals but I'll show you how to deal with them in part two so thanks guys for watching and remember stay crappy. <laughs>